Good day everyone. Today I'm going to discuss the role of harmonians in restoring the ecosystem. At this juncture, I would like to define what restoration is. According to the Society for the Ecological, Restoration Science and Policy Working Group of 2002, ecological restoration is the process of assisting the recovery of an ecosystem that has been degraded, damaged, or destroyed. I chose this illustration here, which I got over the internet, to accompany this definition. The hand representing the trunk and branches of the tree is a very symbolic one. For me, this artwork relays a very simple message. The human hand can do help in greening process of Mother Nature, restoring Mother Earth. According to the definition given by Britannica.com, ecosystem is the complex of living organisms, their physical environment, and all their interrelationships in a particular unit of space. There are two main components that exist in an ecosystem, the abiotic and the biotic component. The abiotic components of any ecosystem are the properties of the environment, while the biotic component are those life forms that occupy a given ecosystem. The biotic components of an ecosystem are the life forms that inhabit it. The life forms of an ecosystem aid in the transfer and cycle of energy. If we are to tackle the types of restoration, there is what is referred to as a passive restoration type. Under this restoration, this process relies on the natural regeneration capacity of the ecosystem. It is called passive because the earth will heal by itself through time, but it depends on reducing the damaging external pressures of drivers of degradation. And what are these drivers of degradation? Unluckily, anthropogenic or man-related activities contribute a lot in the degradation of the earth. The damaged forest ecosystems will rehabilitate naturally if no mining sites are to be put there no other human intervention will interrupt the healing process. On the other hand, active restoration involves ecological interventions which are designed to drive succession and increase the pace of restoration. It is often particularly selective and may be focused only on a limited number of ecosystem services. Although limited in number, this particular type is the very much needed restoration for the highly degraded ecosystems. If we are to identify the steps to the restoration process, I could say, as presented in this slide, there are only six steps. But if we're going to scrutinize the details of each step, we will be able to conclude that Restoration process is never an easy task. The first step alone, which is the goal setting, is quite very hard. Just in any endeavor, setting the goals and objective of an activity is very much important because these goals will set the direction of the different processes that are to be included in the restoration process. Identifying the strategies and methods that are to be employed in the process of restoration is quite essential and important. In this step, it is very uh, crucial because all of the resources, all of the expertise must be identified in order to fit whatever method, strategy that is to be employed for the restoration process. Removing the source of degradation is the third most important step in the restoration process. 
So what are some examples of sources of degradation? It might be a contaminated wastewater sewage. It might be an oil spill or even emission of some toxic gases that might disrupt the balance in the nearby ecosystem. Next to it is the restoration of the physical environment. If the sources of the problems have been identified, restoration scientists will then employ some measures in order for, for them to restore the physical environment. What does this mean? This means restoring the optimum condition of the soil, the water, and the air in that specific ecosystem is very much needed in order for the ecosystem to be restored. After securing that the physical environment is fit to make the natural habitats of that ecosystem thrive, it is now then important to restore the biota of that specific ecosystem. In this aspect of restoring the biota, if there needs to be re reintroducing a certain species of animals and plants in that specific ecosystem, then it must be done in order for the original population, original density, and original diversity of the different forms of life in that specific ecosystem must be uh, restored in the process of this restoration. The sixth step is quite simple. It's just waiting. Waiting whether the restoration process is successful or not. It does not guarantee that in an attempt to restore a certain ecosystem, there will always be success. That is why the last, the last step is very crucial. If the optimum conditions are fit, then we would say that the restoration process might be successful. But if it's otherwise, then we will have the restoration process repeat all over again. Furthermore, it is quite noteworthy to mention that the restoration may vary in scale. It could be a large scale wherein an entire ecosystem of a desert or a wetland needs to be restored, or a medium scale wherein it focuses on critical areas of an ecosystem, while the small-scale restoration is site-specific. This type of small-scale restoration is quite familiar to most of us. The tree planting activities that we often do are examples of this. After learning the long process and the many considerations that need to be addressed in the ecosystem restoration, I believe that you have had a realization that the road to restoring the degraded or lost ecosystem is a long journey to go through and it offers a very big challenge. But it is a reality that we must face because no other organism are tasked as the stewards of our only planet, our home. Hence, as Ramonians, what role do we play in this endeavor for Mother Nature? Some of you may become discouraged to doing something for the environment and ecosystem. But I would like to share with you some excerpts of what President Ramon Magsaysay had said during his very first State of the Nation address in 1954. And I quote, I must remind you of an all-important fact that what we have set out to do can be realized only through concerted action and unity. More than ever, we must think, plan, and work as one, with only one supreme goal in mind, the promotion of the welfare and happiness of our people." Unquote. Let us not be disheartened then of the burdensome environmental tasks of restoration and rehabilitation. Let us not be discouraged of the laborious works that needs to be done. Instead, may each and every one of us 
become inspired and motivated to do something for the environment. And to inspire you even more, let me share with you some of the collection of the various pro-environmental actions and commitment of the Ramonians from the different campuses of the university. This is to showcase how each Ramonian played a role in restoring the ecosystem, in rehabilitating our Mother Earth. Bilang uh, isang university, ang isang ang mandato ng uh, pamantasan ay magbigay ng uh, instruction, magsagawa ng research, production, at extension. Sa instruction, um, ang university ay uh, nag-revise ng curriculum ng Bachelor of Science in Agriculture at diyan din ang Bachelor of Agricultural Technology upang maisama ang uh, waste conservation and waste management and conservation of natural resources. Na dati ay wala ito sa curriculum ng BS Agriculture at ba. Ganon din, ang um, general education uh, elective um, um, <coughs> ang sinama namin dito ay ang environmental science. Sa pamagitan ng dalawang subjects na ito, Inaasahan namin na may inculcate sa mga estudyante sa ating mga mag-aaral na mapangalagaan ang ating kapaligiran. At yun din, magiging kasama natin sila sa pag-aalaga at pag-inculcate din para maprotektahan ang ating kapaligiran sa mga future generations pa. Sa research, Organic Mango Center, sila po ay nagsasagawa ng research kung paano may induce ang mango ng organic way. Ganun din, meron din pong programa ang research and development tungkol sa organic vegetable production. Sa mga faculty natin na nakasama po doon, sila po ay nagsasagawa ng mga itong pag-aaral upang mag, uh, may showcase din sa ating mga uh, mag-aaral. At ganyan din sa iba pang may stakeholders, mga farmer cooperatives, upang uh, may disseminate ang mga itong uh, informasyon upang uh, maging sustainable at mapangalagaan ng ating uh, environment at magkaroon ng uh, sustainable livelihood sa ating mga stakeholders. Ano naman ang mga uh, ginagawang paraan para ma-involve ang ating mga estudyante sa ganitong mga uh, curriculum sa mga ganitong uh, activities? Sa pamagitan ng uh, Pag-enroll sa mga subjects na ito, ano ba yung waste management and conservation of natural resources. May mga uh, projects at may mga subjects or topics na itinuturo sa mga estudyante upang uh, mag-recycle um, o kaya uh, mabawasan ang mga uh, basura na hindi masyado na degrade sa ating environment. Pinuturoan din ang mga estudyante para magsagawa ng uh, organic fertilizer sa pamagitan ng composting, vermi composting at baka. Ganyan din sa mga practicum, pinuturoan ng mga estudyante ng mga skills upang uh, makapag-produce ng organic way ng kanilang uh, vegetable production sa kanilang takanan at tulad ng uh, urban gardening o kaya yung container gardening. Inaasahan namin sa mga susunod pang mga taon sa, sa future na ang mga gawain ito ay magpapatuloy. At kung meron pang uh, mga paraan o pang mas mapabuti ang pag-aalaga sa ating kapaligiran, sa ating ecosystem, ito po yung ating pong i-disseminate o i-promote sa ating pong mga stakeholders. Inaasahan namin na ang mga future generations, sa mga generations sa ng uh, mga estudyante ngayon ay magiging kaakibat po natin sa pag-aalaga o pangalaga sa ating kapaligiran. Salamat po. Hello Planet Earth! Hello everyone! I am Raimundo Sazon, the Dean of the College of Agriculture and Forestry. How our college contribute to ecosystem restoration academically CAP contribute by offering the subject ecological agriculture. 
We teach to the students the value of being in harmony with nature while at the same time pursuing agricultural productivity. Our BS environmental students, environmental science students, shall be molded into becoming our future scientists who will undergo efforts and endeavors in providing solutions to the problems affecting our natural environment. Our BS forestry, on the other hand, has been dealing with the concerns addressing the denuding condition of our forests. Many of the graduates of CAP were involved in the national greening program of the Philippines. We only have one planet, our home. Wala nang ibang mga nalaga dito. Kung hindi tayo, sino pa? Kaya mahalin natin ito kapag sama-sama, kayang-kaya. Maraming salamat. Hello, this is Rena Sasson, the program chair of the newest curricular program offering in IBA Campus, the BS Environmental Science. Let us now hear the initiatives of the faculty and students of the BS Environmental Science to protect and save the Mother Earth. Happy Earth Day, everyone! Hello, I'm Freddy Alexis A. Domingo from Environmental Science Department and a class advisor of the BS Environmental Science Pioneering Class in President Ronald McSexcise State University, Iba Campus. As a young professional, I grow my plants organically and sustainably, segregate waste, and conserve energy at our home. I also share my knowledge and wisdom in environmental protection and awareness through speaking engagement on seminars and trainings conducted by the different government agencies. With this, I'm proud to say that I am a part of the solution and not the pollution. That's all. Hi, I'm Almira Taya Ilago of College of Agriculture and Forestry BS Environmental Science. I love to collect different kinds of plants and this is the way to preserve. Hello everyone, I am Leandi Mabasa, College of Agriculture and Forestry, BS Environmental Science student. So, ano yung mga ginagawa ko to preserve and conserve for our environment? To preserve our environment, gumagamit kami ng eco bags so that hindi na naman kailangan gumamit ng plastic. And for the conservation of for our environment naman, so gumagamit kami ng solar lights kapag gabi. So, that's all. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kalshin F. Manalo of College of Agriculture and Forestry, BS Environmental Science. I plant trees in our backyard and always separate our garbage into biodegradable, non-biodegradable, and recyclable as a way of conserving our environment. Hi guys, I'm Crystal Lohandula Vito from College of Agriculture and Forestry at Perlification, BS Environmental Science. And I am proud to say that I'm a certified Fruit planter and the future doctor of the environment. My name is Rigay Mandapat, BS Environmental Science student from President Ramon Magsaysay State University, College of Agriculture and Forestry. Kalikasang araw sa lahat. This is Rowena Sasson, the Director of Climate Change Institute and the Chair of Biology and Environmental Science Program. Ang Climate Change Institute, Departamento ng Hainayan at Siyensyang Pangkalikasan ay nakikiisa sa pagdiriwang ng Earth Day ngayong buwan ng Abril. As a delivery unit, the Primsu Climate Change Institute serves as the research, development, extension and instructional facility that will develop and promote technologies and strategies related to climate change adaptation and mitigation. 
Likewise, the Institute aims to be instrumental in the promotion of environmental awareness and protection, not only to Crimson community, but to the Sambalenos as a whole. I can say for now that, to a certain extent, the unit has been able to conduct activities in response to its mandates. One of its accomplishments is the production of the IEC materials that provide information on what climate change is, its possible impacts to the environment and community, and the simple doable measures that an individual can do to minimize the emission of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. CCI believes that concerted community involvement is the key to combat the effects of climate change. From the last part of 2017 up to the present, the unit already conducted several information campaigns on climate change and other environment-related issues, including topics on school-based solid waste management, composting, mitigation, and risk reduction training among the farmers, basic GIS training, and many others. We targeted the youth in our environmental awareness campaign activities. Moreover, the Institute is instrumental in advocating for no styrofoam, no plastic policy and in the proposed establishment of material recovery facility in the university. More importantly, the unit is responsible for the offering of the newest curricular program in the university, the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science. As a program chair of PS Biology, we encourage the students to undertake studies that can be used as a scientific basis for the formulation of policies related to environmental protection and conservation. I also made it a point that the students participate in seminars and scientific fora and other activities that will increase their awareness on environmental issues. Personally, I have done studies related to water and sediment a quality assessment of the areas in Sambales that are heavily affected by land-based activities such as mining. Studies that assess the conditions of mangroves, seagrass, and seaweeds, and involved in a project that document the adaptation and coping strategies of the rice farming communities in Sambales and adjoining provinces. The theme for this year's Earth Day celebration is Restore Our Earth. Restoring the Earth is a big task almost unthinkable for ordinary person like us. As said by a conservationist, we should think globally, but act locally. In our own little ways, we can do our part to save the Mother Earth. Thank you. Again, this is Rowena Sason, patuloy na maglilingkod sa ngalan ng kalikasan. Hi, I am Jen Paolo Bausa second year student of BS Biology at President Ramon Magsaysay State University, College of Arts and Sciences. I am an advocate for environmental protection and conservation. Last year, my organization outside the campus initiated the Coastal Cleanup in Barangay Benegbo, Tolan, Zambales, in partnership with the Sangguniang Kabataan and other community organizations. I am a certified plantito. I love planting trees because I love the color green and it helps my mental health as well. Presentation. I am leaving you, dear viewers, 
these questions. What role do you play in restoring the ecosystem? What actions do you do or intend to do to save the degrading planet? The choice and answers are all in your hands. Have a good day and thank you very much for watching.